Yeah, this is uh, Seymour Rocks uh, reporting from Down Under. I just want to bring a few more uh, things uh, to the table, miscellaneous things. Uh, but first of all, I just want to say, you know, because everyone, I can't really work out people who are in violent denial and can't recognize truth. So it's, it, it, it's, it, it's something that's very challenging for me. And of course, with this, I've had it. I even had a, a threat from someone saying, uh, you know, it was all fake news and they were going to um, report me to the New Zealand authorities, whatever that bloody means. Um, so, yeah, my uh, motivations have always, uh, I regard people as adults, they can, uh, they can cope, hopefully, unless they're bloody snowflakes and they won't come near me. So, um, yeah, it's out of compassion for the people of China. It's just beyond comprehension. And if you just want to deny that to protect your own bloody ego, well, good luck to you. Uh, yeah, I'm not your person. So anyway, I just want to look at a couple of things here. Um, so this appeared, I think it appeared yesterday, and in the midst of all of this, uh, the teachers and students from Wuhan to visit New Zealand while deadly corona virus spreads. I'll put the link to that. I mean, honestly, I just, the mind bloody boggles. I just, I, I cannot for the life of me uh, work it out. And then, of course, there's this story uh, from yesterday. The light, last flight from Wuhan, plane full of passengers was from coronavirus epicenter lands in Sydney as death toll soars to 17 in China quarantine city of 11 million. I think I've just picked up that uh, Melbourne has had uh, their, um, their first fatality. And uh, I, I expect a few fatalities to, to hear about fatalities in Sydney uh, in the next few days. Well, anyway, I'll just go on. And first of all, I'm just going to uh, present a few miscellaneous headlines from, uh, from mainstream media. Uh, so here are just a few uh, uh, headlines. So this is someone who, uh, from Australia, a uh, blogger who is expressing similar sort of sentiments to me. Coronavirus comes to Australia after fucking stupid government lets plane from Wuhan uh, land here. We should have cancelled all direct flights from China until the coronavirus outbreak had been contained. Well, yeah, amen. Uh, the only thing that I can find to excuse this is this happened about the time they probably just flew out just before they shut everything down. And this is from Zero Hedge. I'll come back to this later. Uh, but this time I'm petrified. Virologist who helped discover SARS offers chilling tape on Corona virus outbreak. Uh, so I recommend this uh, from um, uh, from Zero Head. And uh, there's a lot coming through um, social media. Uh, this is saying that uh, uh, 90,000 people have been affected, according to the medical staff in Wuhan City. Well, again, I'll come back to this. I've got more on this. Uh, I didn't do the video because she's speaking in, uh, in Mandarin uh, without subtitles. And uh, this is pretty amazing. China is building a whole new hospital um, to treat patients over seven days, I think. Look at this. I mean, nowhere else in the world would this be even possible. I suppose uh, the only difference between this and Mao's China is these would have been people wielding uh, spades and, and the like. 
And this came, um, this was a, a, um, a video uh, and it was taken down um, very, very quickly. I don't know, it says by the owner of the account whether uh, they decided that it was something else and that they'd made a mistake or whether this is a crackdown on the internet. I've got no idea. So. <laughs> Now pay particular attention to the following if you don't find this um heartbreaking um, then there's something seriously wrong with you so just have a listen and a read. I'm interested in getting uh, information uh, from the ground uh, in Wuhan and that's very very difficult because of censorship by the Chinese authorities and also uh, censorship in the West. So uh, this comes, uh, was sent, and it's been translated, it comes from uh, Godlike Productions. Anyway, fluent speaker, will do my best to translate. If all the pictures and videos circulating on social media are true, have contacts in mainland that saw even a small third tier city had suspected case, emergency personnel in hazmat suit, putting patient in ambulance, this is massive cover-up and a humanitarian crisis on an extreme st scale. The world needs to know what's really going on uh, to help the affected innocent citizens. So if you try and tell people, of course, that becomes fear-mongering. Uh, the next one, current status of our medical staffs, afraid of changing protective clothing from nine... Noon to 9 p.m. Everyone is scared of eating, drinking, or use the bathroom in fear of taking off protective gear. Everyone is wearing their last set of protective gear. Resources are very scarce and almost depleted. Medical personnel are protecting Wuhan. Who will protect the medical personnel? We are on the verge of collapsing. Outpatient department filled with patients. Some kneel down on the floor and begging us to save them. But right now, there's no special medication to treat this virus. Individual can only survive uh, with fighting with his or her own immune system. Our protective gears have been completely depleted. Protective cloth, face mask, hat, glove, full face mask, goggle have all been depleted. I just have to point out at this time that they've got the world's largest epidemiological institute in Wuhan. And you'd think uh, if they'd been studying it, they might have had a vaccine. <laughs> so who knows? Hospital has no high up in charge, not enough medical supplies, haven't eaten all day. Many people died and no one is collecting or removing corpses. No internet nor call signal. Any doctors tried to quit will have medical license revoked. What kind of fucking human world would do this? Implying doctor would lose license as punishment, I think. Right now, my wife, sister and co-workers are all at the verge of collapsing, giving up, don't know what to do. Only doctors allowing going home for Chinese New Year are emergency room doctors. Fifth Municipal Hospital of Wuhan. Understand that everyone is celebrating Chinese New Year. Don't want to bother you all, but this situation matters to everyone. We don't need people's encouragement, condolences. We need the whole country to know what's really going on in Wuhan. 
To all fighting colleagues, the current social order in Wuhan is on the verge of collapsing. Some infected patients have started attacking hospital staff in desperation. If anyone has any way to inform contact higher up, my suggestion is to send in military to help maintain hospital and social orders. Please help. I will take responsibility for the information I am sharing. I am begging everyone to please help citizens of Wuhan. I am a nurse. My husband has been infected. What has been reported by news is completely different from what's really happening. My husband has had fever for eight days without improvement. CT scan is showing noticeable infection of lungs. In past eight days, I've tried every possible connections I have across all Wuhan hospital colleagues, but no one will admit my husband. Higher up informed all doctors to deny uh, acceptance of patient into hospital, deny testing for the virus, denied confirmation of patients who have been infected and asked all medical staff to sign no non-disclosure agreement. I have suffered massive emotional drain in the past eight days. Hospital won't admit husband and too afraid to go home, going from hospital to hospital in hope anyone would admit my husband. No one will admit that he's infected with the virus. I am almost on the verge of giving up myself, fear that I won't be able to handle it any longer. Going from hospital to hospital, no open bed, medical staff's overworked, but still not enough. Finally was able to get into the emergency department, but there is no bed, available staff or beds. Still more Patients are being transported in, sick or not sick, all congregated at the same place. Everyone will be infected. If this continues, everyone will die. Wuhan coronavirus. My aunt was placed on a bed in Hankou uh, Hospital since yesterday noon. Hospital is not letting anyone into the hospital morgue. Relatives have to contact funeral services and disinfect themselves. After passing last night at 10.30 p.m., we've contacted funeral services. It is 1 p.m. today and they have still not come to transport her body because there is only one available that's going around the whole city collecting the deceased. That's in a city of 11 million people. Because this is the only one that has the capacity to disinfect Yesterday alone transported 50 corpses going from hospital to hospital <coughs> to collect bodies. My heart is so broken, infected collapses and died and there was no one removing them. Hospital refusing to let anyone into the morgue when we can give them a proper burial. I'm really scared myself too. Dead bodies just left on beds. Temperature inside the hospital is high. More people will be infected. This situation is definitely not just my aunt's family. Hospital is the biggest infected place. Us little citizens are the most pitiful. Nobody will take us in and we have no idea what to do. Ready to op from someone below just received news that my aunt jumped off a building and killed herself just happened now she contracted the coronavirus but no hospital would admit her because there's no bed just prescribed her some medications and came back to check later but she's having severe breathing problem will translate videos when i get home later i am not trying to spread misinformation i merely translated these so make your own judgment given I have people I care about residing in China. I have to look at this as the worst case scenario and prepare them best I, uh, I can. Whether this information circulating social media are true or hysteria or fake, if anyone want proof, I can upload face masks, receive receipt purchased just a few days ago as well as postal office receipts showing that they are en route to China. Just my two cents, 
and hope more people can see the truth for themselves and help the poor souls infected and unaware of the situation in China. Sorry about the long post. Godspeed to everyone dealing with this unfortunate event. Twitter is actively deleting posts now. You can see it in real time. When I was growing up, uh, the left uh, was the conscience of the planet. They, can, they um, cared deeply about things and they wanted to change and improve things. And now things seem to be flipped. Uh, most of what goes for the left these days are the ones that are likely to kind of shout um, uh, fake news and support the CIA and the, all, all the three-letter agencies and every war that's going. And it's people of conscience from, from the right, people, Christians and others um, who seem to be onto this. And of course, with the, uh, with the right, uh, you have to take, there's a lot of truth in what they say, but you've got to take that along with... Um, what the Hong Kong man say, Dr. Guan? He's a virologist. He said China's doing it all wrong. They haven't taken the steps they needed, but he doesn't know that any nation will take the steps they need. And he says, I've covered this forever, forever. And I've never been scared until now. So here's a guy who's made a life work out of studying this. And he said, this is the first time it's ever frightened him. And he's really frightened. He said, this could sweep the globe and do unbelievable damage. He said this particular strain, in his professional opinion, is 10 times more lethal than SARS. That's another reason why I say this is bioengineered. Everything speaks to this. Do you think maybe we should take this guy's threat seriously? It answers a lot of problems for the deep state, doesn't it? This is one hell of a distraction from Ukraine and Burisma. It truly is. Yeah, I would say the timing is a little suspect, wouldn't you? And I've said this before, too. This comes out of the Chinese equivalent of Fort Detrick. How many coincidences do you want to buy? Right now, I think Dr. Guan is right. We need to not panic, but we need to take steps to protect ourselves. So please take those steps we've talked about on here. Also, too, pay attention to what the health experts are saying. Do not pay attention to what the news says because they're going to underreport government statements because the government doesn't want you to panic. And so they're going to underestimate the problem. And in fact, they're going to lie to you. Uh, I'll just leave the, um, the last word uh, to Chris Martinson of Peak Posterity, who I've been following from the uh, Peak Oil Movement from back in about 2011. And uh, in what he has to say here, he could be uh, he could be speaking for me. So listen to what Chris has to say. Good morning, everyone. Hey, uh, Chris Martinson here. I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience with you here. It's uh, January 24th. That would be Friday. It's about 7:30 in the morning, and I just spent a good chunk of uh, my morning looking through the absolutely uh, unbelievable pandemic virus stories coming out of China. And of course, there's a real clamp on information there. But with social media, we can see that it's pretty bad, it's pretty desperate, and that this virus checks all the boxes for being a pandemic candidate. And it's uh, getting all over the world. And the response of my government in the United States, but also elsewhere in the world, is to just sort of shrug and say, well, you know, if people are coming in from uh, wherever, what we're going to do is uh, we'll scan their foreheads with a temperature reader. And of course, this is useless because this virus has a five day incubation period uh, at a minimum. So that means you can be infected, be completely asymptomatic, not have any symptoms yourself that you're aware of. No aches, no, no runny nose, nothing like that, and no fever, but still be fully infected. And so, of course, these scans that they're doing at the airport are stupid. So you'd think, though, that this would be top news a pandemic is like one of the most uh, amazingly destructive things that could possibly happen it, it it could harm life and limb so let's see 
Let's take a quick tour through the news here in the United States and see how we're doing. So I'm just uh, scrolling here through a standard uh, Internet Explorer browser. This is the main news feed that comes up. Let's see. Well, uh, I guess uh, we got a 15 year old. Uh, it's going to upset uh, something about the Australian Open. Uh, that's an ad. Uh, let's see. An explosion. Yep. OK. Explosion in Houston. Some random explosion in one city. Yep. Got to put that right near the top. Um, another ad. Uh, shocking moments at the Grammy Awards. Yeah, I get shopping. Yep. You could look at shopping. Let's come on. Where's this virus? Let's see. Um, Trump, something about Trump here. Uh, something about Brady. Another ad. Uh, flirting. Is that the secret to a happy marriage? Hey, oh, this is good news. U.S. futures point to slightly higher open on Wall Street. That's been happening every day for months and months as the Federal Reserve seeks to make the wealthy wealthier and to uh, cut everybody else out from the American dream. Love that. Thank you, CNBC, for letting us know that that's happening again. Uh, that doesn't seem important. Al Capone's car, I mean, moderate, mildly interesting, but really not important compared to a pandemic. Uh, let's see. Stuck indoors. Keep your dog entertained on a snowy or rainy day. Mm, not really important. Uh, some guy turns himself in. I don't know. Yes, people died. Musicians, I guess. Oh, Kamala Harris said to be weighing an endorsement of Joe Biden. Wow, that's an irrelevant f meeting. Irrelevant. That's irrelevant squared. Uh, yeah, Megan and Harry's mansion. Uh, all star. Come on. We're banks handing out beefed up credit lines. No one asked for. God. Ah, oh, this is dystopian. That's right there, a boring dystopia right there. Toddler's Playroom includes capitalist uh, logos and things like that. That's, that's fantastic. Get out of here with that. Uh, let's see. Come on, where's where's the virus news? Um, nope. Brad Pitt, nope. Ev nope. Ads. Um, Warren slams Bloomberg for his... No. Uh, most important Grammy nominees. No, I'm not... Come on! 20... Uh, ban cashless stores and no ad there's another ad voices my time with the british jesus two stories about the british aristocracy again irrelevant squared what could possibly be less relevant to my life than the british aristocracy nothing I except for maybe kamala harris endorsing joe biden both uh just 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 absolutely nothing to do with my life there's a pandemic coming okay here's really an ad disguised as uh as an article fidget spinners great come on people Las Vegas uh, changes what happens. Your slogan, that's important, I guess, for some people. Um, uh, results, another ad. What does 2020 hold for Tiger? Again, completely irrelevant to my daily life. Meet the Grammy. A lot, lot of Grammy stuff. So somebody's really paying for a bunch of Grammy uh, stuff to come out here. Ah, finally, how China's coronavirus outbreak could threaten the global economy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's it? Yep, that's it. That's the only take that the United States press, mainstream press, the people who have been absolutely falling down on the job and failing to bring you the news that you need and deserve. The only thing they could really think to do to tell you about a pandemic, which by the way, if it comes to this country, it will mean millions of dead, tens of millions uh, severely injured and, and ill, it would be one of the worst catastrophes that could happen uh, in our country in a long time. And the angle they want to take on that is not how you could protect yourself, not the severity of this, not informing you about the nature of pandemics, not giving you updated information about where we really stand in this, not telling you how you could avoid it and things you could do, which we are doing at Peak Prosperity. But they want to tell you how the outbreak could threaten the global economy. That's the angle they need to go with here because the mainstream media is now completely captured, bought, and paid for by the billionaire class, by the so-called corporatists, but which isn't really, it's not really capitalism, it's corporatism, right, which is uh, fascism, if you want to call that the merger of state and, and corporations, but it's really just super wealthy corporations making a lot of money and uh, rentier harvesting you, all of your uh, wages and slave labor inputs and all of that stuff. That's the most important angle is, gosh, this coronavirus outbreak could threaten the global economy that's what they're leading off with here in fact that's the only thing they're coming up with this is absolutely dystopian i i'm 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 shocked that we are at the place where we can't even as a as a at the collective level dredge up some amount of concern for our fellow humans and understand that this pandemic is going to be a human catastrophe not of something that dings corporate profit lines it Maybe there's something more important in the story, but that just tells you 
where we really are in the story. All right, I'm done.